Okay guys, first thing you have to do anyway is install your driver for your USB. So copy your uh, drivers across to a C drive, D drive, wherever. And as you can see here, there they are. Um, load up your uh, node adapter or just plug it into your side of your USB and it'll come up and say found new hardware. Go and find your driver, you know where you've actually put it onto uh, whichever um, part of your hard drive. <coughs> when you actually find it, you need to look in the bin section. In the bin section is where the actual drivers are. Once you've been into your bin section and loaded everything up, you can then go and install the hotspot software. Once the hotspot software has been installed, uh, when you first load it up, you'll get asked about your call signs. Just input your call signs in there and just click next. And then you should come up with a screen like this. On the screen like this, you'll have your call signs that you just inputted. Operations mode, simplex node. Next, transmit mode, click enable GMSK node adapter. And just underneath it should say direct and 500 milliseconds. And then below receive mode just put it into GMSK node adapter I was told before but um, that you didn't have to have anything on the right side ticked but I have and that's how my adapter works so I've just done it and it works fine here enable logging just below DVR settings enable and I've put three days before it deletes any QSOs just below that DPRS settings I've enabled that for enable low speed output and the port number is 20003 to 20003. Once you've done that, click uh, save. It'll go and save it. And then now all you have to do, click on configure. Normally when it first starts up, you'll get it where it says um, manual settings. Let's go up to the top and then where it says select repeater. From there you'll get a list. If you don't get the list first time, uh, click cancel, close down your hotspot software, then restart it again. Everything will be there. All you have to do then is go back, click on configure, and it'll come up. Um, and then just look for the repeater you want. There's loads there. So whichever one you want, I've clicked GB7SF. I want to go down onto um, two meters so click port, uh, module C and if it disconnects any time I want to actually save it, make sure it reconnects so I've ticked automatically reconnect if connection is lost also you've got four quick tune slots and they're here so at the moment I've got tune 1 GB7YD on two meters GB7FK on two meters GB7SF on 2 meters and K8BIG on 70 cents. So, whichever one you want to do, all you do, tick it. It's got the address there. As you can see, there's the address at the top. So, it has got it off the net because you have to be connected to the internet all the time. Here, you will see that my GMSK node adapter status, there it is. If you don't actually get anything there, you usually get a little uh, icon there which says rescan. Click that. If you can't find it, unplug your node adapter and plug it back in and then it should find it for you. Once it comes up, they'll get it to relight that. All you do then, click whichever repeater you want, click connect, so a little red dot come up here. That's to say it's actually connected. And you've got a green and red one at the top. As I say, I'm connected to GB7SF at the moment on 2 meters. And I've got G0DCF. Uh, his name's Reg. And he's connected through GB7SF at the moment. There's G3, sorry, M3VDH, Dave. Uh, they're all going through GB7SF at the moment. Um, what you normally do next is you connect your 
um, or turn on your 92, 91, 2820, 880 or whatever D-Star radio you've got and away you go, you can actually hear um, your D-Star coming through over GB7SF on uh, 2 meters. If you key up, you'll get your call sign and all your information come on at the bottom but that'll be for a next video so then you can actually hear everything that goes on there. And that's it from M0AOV. Hope you enjoy it.